12th morning. That was a decent wee steady run up to the well, up to the park there. Uh, similar to last week, although this time I didn't sleep in, I wasn't rushing. So uh, yeah, I just tried to take my time, keep it steady the whole way, which I think I did, and it still gives me five, ten minutes now to kind of try and just get my breathing back down. I should be good for the run. The park seems really, really busy today. I'm walking away from the start line just trying to, well, catch my breath a wee bit, but yeah. There's, there's a lot here today. Don't know, maybe, maybe there's something I'll find after the start line. But, uh, I'm keeping up with my kind of targets of running each week, so this time I'm going for 26 minutes. Exactly, because I'm trying a new function in my watch. I'm trying the Pace Pro, I think it is it's called. Basically, I set the course, set the time I wanted, and it's because of the distance I've set it to 26 rather than 2603, just to account for just inaccuracy over the exact distance. I think it comes out at just slightly over 5k. But we try that, and apparently it adapts to the downhills, the uphills and tells me what pace I should be running at. So previous weeks I've been running to a time and it's told me if I'm ahead or behind the time. This time it'll tell me if I'm ahead or below the time I need to get to that point. And it should tell me as I go up the hill, start slowing down, or it should tell me the pace I should run up the hill, which I think should be quite cool. So I'm looking forward to seeing what this does. This could be a game changer for me. I'll see if I enjoy this or if I prefer running the other way. I'll try whichever one I, I think next time. But yeah, it's, um, I'm enjoying these different wee functions on my watch and it's definitely helping me. So we'll see. So today aim 26 minutes, if I can get under that even better, but 26 minutes would be fantastic and a bit of improvement again. Ah, it's always nice when there's lots here, so uh, I'll find out at the start what's actually going on. But it's quite a dull grey day, I don't know if you can see that quite behind. Yeah, it's not the nicest and it's pretty cold. <laughs> Not two layers cold, but chilly. Should be good though. Watch is all set up, see how this goes. Oh dearie me, there we are. 26 25. Managed it. That was tough, but I ended up 35 36 seconds ahead. So I'll take that. I think like, what's the actual time will be about 30 seconds, but. That's good. There we are. That's the finish line. Right, I'm done. Scanned in. I'm really, really pleased with that. Actually, have I saved it? Suddenly thought there that I hadn't saved it in my watch, and turns out I hadn't. It's okay, it's done now. Yeah, I'm really, really pleased at that time. I, I thought it was going to be touch and go at the fourth kilometre. I was kind of. No, I tell like, just as I got over the three and a half point, I was only about five, six seconds ahead. It was the second downhill that I suddenly started making all the time back. And as much as I lost a little going back up the hill for the second time, I managed to remain comfortably ahead in the end. I was about 30 seconds at one point, and then it drifted a wee bit, and then it came back just on the sprint of the line. But, uh, yeah, really, really pleased with the time. Really, really pleased with that. It was good. And yeah, it was busy because I'm older here. So that's why there's loads. So as much as it was a good time, it's still 69, just showing how many there actually are. No, definitely enjoyed that and yeah, really really pleased with the, the time in the end. So I on the Pace Pro, I kind of biased it ahead, so I was trying to do faster at the start of the run and then taking into account the hills to try to run slower up the hills so I think that's why I thought it was so out in about the third kilometre because I'd biased it to be faster on the first half and even the first hill so it meant as soon as I started to go down the hill I started gaining all my time back because I was going much faster than I was expecting because I expected me much slower in the second half of the run so that helped so maybe need to watch that the next stage just maybe tweak a couple of settings but yeah I'll see what the time is but I think that's definitely going to be put in as the goal time next week or next one, I don't know if I'm able to make it here next week. But definitely, next cross lats, I'll put in today's time as the goal time. We'll start aiming to see if I can beat that. Yeah, the 25 minute barrier might not be too far away yet. 
Yeah, so another win to league race tomorrow. Uh, he didn't make it to the last one, so I'm could definitely get to tomorrow. This is the local one at Southlands Lakers. So it's going to be two laps around Middleton Woods at the start of a storm. We're avoiding the worst of it. We're going to avoid the heavy rain, well, heavy winds, but I think we're going to get the heavy rain tomorrow morning. So, uh, yeah, proper winter trail running weather. <laughs> at least we've avoided any snow or anything like that. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be tough and muddy tomorrow. But it should be quite good fun. I'll see how I got on at it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was good. Enjoyed that today. We'll see what we can do next time.